Hello students, welcome to Niraja's Biology Academy. You are with Okula Niraja Prakash. In this video, I am posting five questions related to botany of 2021 NEET paper. In order to bring the awareness to the students and then the importance of solving previous year papers, I am posting these questions. Linking with how the questions are linked with the previous year papers. Let us see. Before going to analysis, I would like to give few tips and then related to your preparation, how many steps you have to follow, what are the methods that you have to implement in these 35 days. So I have given a term, assimilation efficiency. So how this assimilation efficiency will work out. Now let us come to the improve your assimilation efficiency. In order to achieve your goal, concrete planning is essential and razor sharp focus is required. And these are the days which are left over. As the days progresses, the duration of your preparation should decrease. Evaluation of those papers, solving the mistakes as essential, your efficiency will increase. That will convert a short-term memory to the long-term memory. Now let us see how to improve assimilation efficiency. Possible through Pomodoro technique and Parkinson's law. Pareto principle. Pomodoro technique. It is a simple method to balance focus with deliberate breaks. Do one Pomodoro. What is meaning to this Pomodoro? Time for 25 minutes. In that 25 minutes, maximum attention should be paid towards that particular topic. And then you have to take five minutes break. If you want to solve questions related to biology, for 25 minutes, you can solve nearly 60 to 75 questions, depending upon the length of the questions. If it is statement time, you can do only 60. If it is normal MCQs, you can solve 75 questions. So like that, you can divide your time into different, so four pomodoros. After these four pomodoros, you take a long break. Long break means one hour. And the next one is known as a Parkinson's law. Work expands to fill the time available for its completion. So you have to fix the target time. So in this time, within this half an hour, I will complete. I should complete. See in this graph. So lesser the time, maximum effort is associated. As the time duration, it increases the effort is decreased. Still the time duration is increased and the effort is still decreased. And the next one is Pareto principle. 80% of the consequences are due to 20% of causes. If the time spent is 80% and then efficiency will be, result will be only of 20%. Within the 20% available time, then the results will be 80%. The marks which you are obtaining always depends upon the number of practice papers. It is almost all you can see it is directly proportional. And then more number of practice papers if you do, then the number of mistakes will be inversely proportional. Five mistakes to be awarded for better performance in need 2022. Use of rote learning. What is this rote learning? It's a process of memorizing specific new items as they are encountered and they're not focusing on weight age topics weight age i am splitting this weight and age so weight means which is having more gravity age means frequently asked frequently asked in that concept i have split this weight and then age weight age topics not analyzing the exam question type and then pattern and then the pattern has been changed in 2021, we got section A, section B, botany paper separately, zoology paper separately. So you have, you should be cautious while answering the questions of section B. No self-analysis of preparation, not using proper timetable to study. In this way, you have to make your uh, environment. Healthy and pleasant environment is very much essential for your preparation. And then... What are the requirements for your preparation? So here, first, to implement the Pomodoro technique, one stop clock. 
and then your NCERT textbook, your material, your notes, which you have prepared previously, and then one small rough notebook, lipstick papers, and then marker pens, your schedule, the material which you are having to solve adequate number of questions. Time of revision, you have to copy down and then write from the bulky book. You have to read to the book of thin, write from the book of this size. You have to go to the book of this size. So what are all the content that are present in this book? You have to transfer already from your notebook. Important points you have to transfer in another book. So here, transferring. Or else if you don't have time. And then you take a small thick papers and then paste in that notebook itself. So this is the method of preparing in these 35 days. And now let us go to the analysis of 2021 botany paper from 101 to 105. Now let us see NEET 2021 biology paper explanation part one. Botany, I have taken paper four, P3. Questions from 101 to 105. Which of the following statements is not correct? And it is related to the ecological pyramids. Charles Elton is a scientist. He developed ecological pyramids. It is a graphical representation of various ecological parameters at successive trophic levels. The food chains taking the producers at the base and then top order carnivore organisms at the apex. So three different types of pyramids are there. Pyramid of number, pyramid of biomass, pyramid of energy. Pyramid of number represents the number of organisms that are present at each trophic level. If we come to this, producers are more in number, primary consumer, secondary consumer, and then tertiary consumers. When compared with this, the number of organisms are decreasing. If we come to the pyramid related to the parasite, where producers are less in number, on this producer, consumers are present, on this consumer, several parasites are present. It is an inverted pyramid. If you come to the pyramid of biomass, the dry weight of the organism is known as a biomass related to the terrestrial ecosystem. The biomass of the producers is small. And then primary consumers, secondary consumers, tertiary consumers, gradually the biomass, it decreases. Here it is an upright pyramid. Related to the aquatic ecosystem, phytoplankton consuming zooplankton's biomass is comparatively more. Zooplankton consuming fishes is still more. So in such conditions, it is an inverted pyramid. If we come to the pyramid of energy, 1% of the solar radiant energy is converted into NPP by green plants or by producers. And then right from the producers, only 10% of the energy is transferred to the next trophic level. So which is known as Lindemann trophic efficiency rule. Now let us come to this question. Which of the following plants is monaceous? We got this question in 2000. 18 and also in 17. The given options are Cycus sarcinalis, Carica papaya, Cara, and then Marchantia. The plant is considered as hermaphrodite, where both male and female reproductive structures are present in the same flower. And the plant is considered as a monaceous. It possesses both male flowers and also female flowers. Coming to the dioecious condition, the plants are considered as a unisexual, where male and female flowers are located on different plants. Psycho sarcinans, it's a gymnosperm, where gametophyte and sporophytic stages are dioecious in nature. Whereas Carica papaya, where male and female plants are separate. In case of date palm, also male and female plants are separate. They are considered as dioecious. In case of Cara, where both male and female reproductive structures are present in the same plant, this is the diagram related to the Cara, where both male and female sex organs are present on the same plant. Female sex organ is considered as nucule, which is associated with ovonium. Male sex organ is considered as a globule 
which is also known as anthereria. In 2013, we got this question where nuclei is located above the globule. And then if you come to the Mercantia, where male and female thalli are separate. They are considered as heterothalic. Let us move on to these examples questions. Select the mismatch. Pinus is a dioecious. Cycus is dioecious. Selvinia is heterosporous. And then equisitum is a homosporous. Pinus, it is a monoecious plant. Cycus, dioecious, it is correct. Selvinia is a pteridophyte, which is a heterosporous in nature. Dioecious condition is observed. And in case of 2018, we got the question related to Marcantia, Gemma cups, which are asexually reproducing structure seeing Marcantia, where male and female, so thalli are separate and it is a monoecious plant. Cara is a monoecious plant. The first stable product of carbon dioxide fixation in sorghum is sorghum, maize, panisum, and then Amaranthus, these are the plants which are considered as C4 plants. The first stable product which is produced is 4-carbon compound. In case of C4 plants, dimorphic chloroplast is present where granule chloroplast and agranule chloroplast. Granule chloroplast is associated with the mesophyll cells. Agranule chloroplast is associated with the bundesheet cells. The granule chloroplast is involved in the light reaction where carbon dioxide fixation takes place. Atmospheric carbon dioxide fixation takes place in the mesophyll cells where the carbon dioxide is converted into carbonic acid in the presence of carbonic anhydrase where it is converted into bicarbonate ions. These bicarbonate ions are taken up by phosphoenol pyruvate. P -E -P. In the presence of an enzyme PEP carboxylase, it forms oxaloacetic acid. This oxaloacetic acid is converted into malic acid or aspartic acid. The malic acid passes through the plasma desmata and enters into the Bundesheet cell, where it undergoes the process of decarboxylation and liberates a molecule of carbon dioxide and pyruvate. The pyruvate which is formed in the Bundesheet cell reaches the mesophyll cell. In the mesophyll cell, the pyruvate undergoes a process of regeneration and produces phosphorenol pyruvic acid. Phosphoric acid is required at this step. <clears throat> the first stable product of carbon dioxide fixation in sorghum is phosphoglyceric acid. It is related to the C3 cycle. Pyruvic acid. Pyruvic acid formation occurs in the Bundesheet cell. Oxaloacetic acid. Yeah. Oxaloacetic acid formation will occur. Succinic acid. Succinic acid will come across in the Krebs cycle, where alpha ketoglutaric acid is converted into succinic acid through succinyl CoA. Succinyl CoA is converted into the succinic acid where it undergoes substrate level phosphorylation. So these are the questions which appear. The first stable product of carbon dioxide fixation in the sorghum is oxaloacetic acid. The Haslack pathway, the primary carbon dioxide acceptor is, PEP is the primary carbon dioxide acceptor in C4. The process that makes differences in C3 and then C4 plants. The first stable product which is produced is a three carbon compound, whereas in case of C4 plants, four carbon compound. In C3 plants, 18 ATP molecules are required, whereas in case of C4 plants, 30 ATP molecules are required. Either so many differences are associated. And the next question is diad alpha stamens are found in chain arrows and citrus, chain arrows, citrus, and then P. Based on the adhesion of stamens, they are categorized into different types. They are monoadelphus, diadelphus, and then polyadelphus. In case of monoadelphus condition, stamens are arranged in the form of single bundle. In case of diadelphus condition, 
in the form of two bundles related to polyadelphous more than two bundles are present monoadelphous condition is observed in case of chain arrows diadelphous condition is observed in the members of fabaceae polyadelphous condition is observed in case of so rutaceae members were citrus plants so the here given question for this answer is p are the member fabaceae members syngenaceous condition the anthers are united but the filaments are free and in case of synandrous condition both anthers and filaments are united example for syngenaceous condition is marigold and helianthus the members of cucurbitae exhibit synandrous condition based on the length of the stamens one is diadynamous another one is tetradynamous in case of diadynamous two stamens are long and two stamens are short and such type of condition is observed in case of salvia and turnip tetradynamous condition is observed in case of members of brassicaceae in this floral diagram the stamens which are present in the outer whorl are short and then which are located in the inner whorl are long four stamens are located in the inner whorl such condition is known as a tetradynamous condition we got the question in 2016 how many plants among the following are having the stamens at a different length salvia mustard radish and then turnip dna stands on gel stained with ethidium bromide when viewed under uv radiation appears as bright orange bands in this method by using restriction endonucleases where dna fragments were obtained but these fragments based on the length they have to be separated the technique that is used to separate the dna fragments is gel electrophoresis and then dna is negatively charged can be separated by forcing them to move towards the anode under electric field that matrix is agarose or agar gel which is extracted right from the sea weeds that belongs to red algae polyacrylamide gel electrophoresis in this type of gel electrophoresis the proteins are separated the proteins are digested by using different types of proteolytic enzymes small polypeptide chains based on their length are separated based on their amino acids that are present in the proteins some some polypeptide chains are acidic in nature some polypeptide chains are alkaline in nature in order to get all these polypeptide chains to one charge sodium dodecyl sulfate solution is used as a result that particular polypeptide chain will attain negatively charge and then as usual gel electrophoresis method is implemented based on the molecular weight and also by their length the proteins can be separated by observing these five questions analysis we might have developed some awareness related to the importance of previous year neat papers in the next video i will post a few questions related to zoology your tenacity will never disappoint you meet you in the upcoming videos Thank you.